Republicans burning the midnight oil in Helena tonight, hoping to wrap up the special session with a balanced state budget. Our chief political reporter Mike Dennison has been following the action from the start and brings us the latest tonight from the Capitol. It's the second and possibly final day of the session, and for most of today, it's been hurry up and wait. Lawmakers are trying to fill a $227 million budget hole created by firefighting cost overruns and less than expected tax revenue. They started the day waiting for amendments on a budget transfer bill, the cornerstone of more than $100 million to help balance the budget. Late tonight, they were still waiting and working on that bill as the potential final piece of the budget puzzle. But in between, they voted on other key portions of the plan. They approved about $76 million in spending cuts, which were outlined by Democratic Governor Steve Bullock. Majority Republicans at the legislature also advanced a bill that encourages Bullock to extend the contract of the company running the private prison in Shelby and thereby get at least $15 million for the budget and maybe $15 million more. Senator Lou Jones of Conrad sponsored the bill and said it simply gives the governor the option to pursue that money. If the private prison is extended in a manner where they pay 30 plus million dollars in, this is how it's to be appropriated. Now it doesn't hold a gun to anyone's head. And this bill provides options. I think these options are, are uh, important to a successful conclusion of this session today in this time. As lawmakers close in on the final product tonight, it still needs one last thing before it's a wrap. The signature of Governor Bullock. So far, he hasn't made any public statements on the final product. At the Capitol, Mike Dennison, MTN News. Thanks, Mike. Now the private.